Hello everyone, this is Teacher Michelle and welcome muli dito sa Unang Math. Mga pangunahing lessons or topics in math gamit ang wikang Filipino ang ibinabahagi ko dito sa aking channel. Kaya naman, kung gusto mo ng ganitong mga videos, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe para lagi kang ma-update sa mga new episodes. This is episode 45 at ang topic natin this episode ay tungkol sa probability in math. Ang episode na ito ay nahahati sa dalawang bahagi. Sa unang bahagi, ituturo ko kung paano natin express ang probability using words. Sa pangalawang bahagi naman, on how to express probability using numbers. Okay, simulan natin on how to express probability using words. Ang probability of happening, ibig sabihin, ano ang chance that something will happen or will not happen. If we say probability, this is the extent to which one can expect a specific event to occur in a given situation. These following words ang mga words na gagamitin natin in expressing probability. So we have the word impossible. Ibig sabihin, zero ang chance na something will happen or will not happen. Next word, ang word na unlikely. So, if we say unlikely, okay, hindi impossible, but ang chance is very little. Third word, we have the word 50-50. Ibig sabihin, half-half ang chance na something will happen or will not happen. Fourth word, ang word na likely. Ibig sabihin, bigger ang chance na something will happen or will not happen. But take note, if we say likely, it doesn't mean 100%. And then the last word, definitely, which means 100% that something will happen or will not happen. Okay, gamitin natin ang mga words na ito in example. Okay, meron tayong chart dito. At ang mga sentences or ang mga situations ay isinulat vertically and we are going to identify or say kung ano ang chance or probability that these situations will happen or will not happen. Okay, ang first na situation is the sun will rise in the west tomorrow. Okay, we all know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So, this situation is impossible. Okay, next sentence. I will win the next lottery. Hindi impossible, but there is a little chance that I will win the next lottery. So, our answer here is unlikely. Okay, third na situation. If you flip a coin, the picture on the side will appear. Coin has two faces or two sides. So, ang chance na the picture on the side will appear is 50-50. Okay, fourth situation, it will rain more often in July than in December. July is a rainy month or rainy season. So, in this situation or in this sentence, our answer is likely. Okay, bakit likely? We will not remove the idea that it can also rain during December, but it will rain more often in July. That's why our answer here is likely, or the chance or probability is likely. And then the last situation, the day after Monday is Tuesday, this is definitely 100% correct. Or, this is true. So, definitely. Okay, ngayon naman, let's compare probabilities. Okay, meron tayong line dito. Ang point na ito, or this point, is impossible. This one is definitely. At ang kalahati ng line na ito is 50-50. So, kung titingnan natin, from this point, as we move to the left, this situation is something is unlikely 
to happen. Okay. While in this side, from this point, as we move closer to this definitely line, these situations, something is likely to happen. So, ibig sabihin, this one, okay, lahat ng situations dito is something is likely to happen. Okay, how about here? Something is like unlikely to happen. Okay, ngayon naman, sagutin natin ang mga sumusunod na uh, mga problems dito. Okay, ang sabi dito is, compare the probability that the arrow will stop at the yellow part when spinning the turntable. So, ito ang iba't ibang turntable. Okay, ano ang probability ng turntable A? Okay, ang question dito is, we will compare the probability ng arrow will stop at the yellow part when we are going to spin. So, in turntable A, since ang turntable or ang circle na ito doesn't have any yellow part, so, ang chance is, Impossible. So, probability is impossible. Okay, how about turntable B? Okay, kung titignan natin, the white part is wider or bigger than the yellow part. So, if we will turn this arrow, ang probability or ang chance na it will stop in the yellow part is unlikely. Okay, it can stop in the yellow part, pero ang chance is very little. That's why it's unlikely. Okay, how about C? Okay, kalahati ang yellow part, kalahati ang white part. So, ang sagot natin or ang chance, ang probability here is 50. Okay, 50. How about D? So, kung titignan natin, ang yellow part is bigger or wider than the white part. So, if we are going to spin the arrow, ang chance na it will stop in the yellow part is likely. Okay, why likely? Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin 100% because merong konting part na white. Okay, how about sa turntable E? Since all parts are yellow, so ang chance or probability that the arrow will stop in the yellow part is okay, 100%. So this is definitely. Okay, next na problem. Tignan naman natin ito. Shade the turntable to show that when you flip a coin, okay, the probability of getting a number side is equal to the probability that the arrow will stop in the shaded part when you spin the turntable. Okay, so when we flip a coin, okay, we all know that coin has two sides. So, ang sabi dito is, the probability of getting the number side is equal to the probability. So, number side is equal to the probability that the arrow will stop in the shaded part. Okay, if we flip a coin, ang probability na it will appear uh, number side is 50. 50. So, half ang chance. So, ibig sabihin, ang shaded part is half then. So, if we are going to show here in the turntable, okay, pwede nating ishade ang part na ito dahil kalahati sa side na ito. Okay, or we are going to shade this part dahil kalahati sa part na ito. Okay, another, ang side na ito. Okay, or ang side na ito dahil kalahati sa side na ito. Or this side at ang side na ito dahil kalahati sa side na ito. And then, ang side na ito at ang side na ito dahil kalahati sa side na ito. Ako ay nagbabalik para ipagpatuloy ang ating lesson. Ngayon naman, ituturo ko kung paano natin express ang probability using numbers. Tignan ang line na ito. 
Ang point na ito is impossible. This point is definitely at ang kalahati ng line na ito is 50-50. Kapag sinabing impossible, 0% ang chance na something will happen or will not happen. Ang impossible or 0%, kung isusulat natin as number, it's 0. Okay, how about ang definitely? Definitely means 100% ang chance na something will happen or will not happen. Let's recall briefly kung papaano sinusulat ang isang number as percent. So, a number times 100 is equal to percent. So, 1 times 100 is equal to 100%. So, definitely or 100% kung isusulat natin as number, ito ay 1. Okay, how about ang 50-50? 50-50, since this is half this line, kung isusulat natin as number, it's one half. Okay, how about ang unlikely at likely? This point is unlikely. This one is likely. Okay, this line is divided into four equal parts. From this point hanggang sa point na ito is one part. So, unlikely, if isusulat natin as number, it's one-fourth. Okay, how about ang likely? So, four equal parts ang line na ito. So, one, two, three. From this point hanggang sa point na ito, na ito is three parts. So, likely, if isusulat natin as number, isusulat natin as number, it's three Fourths. Okay, magbigay pa tayo ng ibang halimbawa para mas maintindihan ninyo kung papaano express ang probability using numbers. Okay, we have here a bag and inside a bag, there are two green marbles. Ano ang chance or probability of taking out green marble and probability of taking out the red marble? So, the chance or probability of taking out the green marble, since two green marbles are inside the bag, it's 100% uh, possible or definitely we can get green marble. So, definitely or 100%, if isusulat as number, ito ay 1. Okay, how about probability or chance of taking out the red marble? Walang red marble inside a bag, so it's so, it's 0% chance or impossible. If isusulat as number, ito ay 0. Okay, next example. In a bag, there are two marbles. One is green, another is red. Ano ang chance or probability of taking out the green marble and taking out red marble? So, probability of taking out the green marble is 50-50 or 50% chance. Kung isusulat ito as number, ito ay one half. Okay, how about probability of taking out the red marble? Okay, ganun din, 50% chance or 50-50 uh, kung isusulat natin as number, it's one half. Third example, four marbles inside a bag. Three marbles are green. One is red. So, ano ang chance or probability of taking out the green marble and probability of taking out the red marble? Okay, chance or probability of taking out the green marble? There are four marbles inside a bag. Three marbles are green. So, ang chance or probability of taking out the green marble is three-fourths. At kung isusulat natin ang 3 fourths as percent, just multiply it by 100. This is 25. So, 3 times 25 is 75% chance or likely. Okay, how about probability of taking out red marble? 4 marbles inside a bag, 1 marble is red. So, 1 fourth probability or chance of taking out the red marble. Kung isusulat as percent, just multiply it by 100. So this is 25. So 25% ang chance or probability. Okay, ngayon naman, sagutin natin ang mga sumusunod na problem dito. Okay, unang problem, ang sabi dito is, 
when one marble is taken out of a box containing 20 marbles, there is one fourth probability that the marble taken out is red. So how many red marbles are in the box? So we have a box and inside the box, 20 marbles. Okay, ang sabi sa problem is one-fourth lang ang chance na red marble ang pwede nating makuha. So, ang tanong is, how many red marbles are in the box? So, 20 marbles inside the box, kailangan natin itong i-multiply sa chance na one-fourth para malaman kung ilang marbles or red marbles ang nasa loob ng box. So, 20 times one-fourth. Okay, so this is 5. So, 5 times 1. So, ang sagot dito ay 5. So, there are 5 okay, red marbles inside the box. Okay, next, no problem. What is the sum of the probabilities of A and B each express as a number? So, we have here uh, situation A and then B. Ang tinatanong dito is the sum of these probabilities expressed as number. So, kailangan natin kunin ang probability expressed as number uh, sa, prob uh, sa situation A and B. Okay, let's do the situation A. The probability that the number on the card is an even number when drawing 1 of 1, 3, 5, and 7. So, ang sabi dito is ano ang chance or probability that we can get an even number. So, if we are going to look, 1, 3, 5, 7, hindi mga even numbers. Wala ni isang even number. So, ang probability or chance is impossible. Impossible if we are going to write this it as number, ito ay zero. Okay, how about ang situation B? The probability that 400 students have the same birthday. Okay, kung iisipin natin, there are 365 days okay, in a year. Okay, at given sa problem natin na 400 students. Okay. Meron ba daw probability or chance that 400 students have the same birthday? Okay. Ang sagot natin dito ay definitely merong chance or probability that uh, 400 students or that these students have the same birthday. Since there are just 365 days in a year at ang number of students ay uh, 400. So, ang sagot dito ay Definitely. Definitely, if isusulat as number, ito ay 1. Okay, what is the sum of A and B? So, 0 plus 1. So, ang sagot natin dito ay 1. Ang video ito ay last na video tungkol sa basic concepts in elementary math. Kaya naman, kung nais mong mapanood or hindi pa napapanood ang mga episodes na ito from episode 1 to 45, pwedeng-pwede mo itong balikan. Para maging updated sa mga new videos na aking ilalabas, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe dito sa Unang Math. See you sa next video! Bye-bye!